Alright, so hey everyone, this is Magda GSD and welcome to devlog number 5 of the tower defense that I am developing and um, this time I just added a bunch of features such as uh, a better mortar script you know, some uh, extra UI I, I fixed some of the UI that uh, you know, they, they weren't problems but uh, you know they they look look really bad in the game. So what I did was basically I replaced the normal text that I use in these buttons and this text right here from normal text to text mesh pro and text mesh pro is basically something you know it's a package that uh, basically helps improve your text text crispness a lot more. So if I just show you the gameplay for now, I. I don't know if I mentioned these in the last video, this in the last video, but uh, I added these little enemy right here. Uh, as you can see, they they just have a health bar, uh, a health bar floating over them that is in world space, not screen space like this or this. So that's in world space, and for now they are just a, it's just a sphere with a red material. So. Let me just add a turret right here, and as you can see, they move towards the turret. Uh, I mean, their default target is set to a turret, but I'm cur currently for now I'm getting this really really weird behavior where they like uh, just go around an orbit to you know reach this turret, and apparently, honestly, I don't know what's the reason. So this is the enemy script that I'm using right here. If anyone wants to take a look. So if anyone has an explanation for this behavior right here, let, let me show it to you again. So this time let's spawn in a mortar. So by mortar, spawn in mortar and let's just place it over here. And as you can see, that enemy was actually supposed to rotate and face this mortar right here and then head over its way. But actually what it's doing is just, it's going around an orbit all the way like this, which is not supposed to do. I don't know what why it's doing that and it's just going like that it, it might be because I'm using ro dot rotation and not local rotation I don't know but uh, yeah and I th as you just saw there the motor works pretty fine as well and if you click on this motor or any object such as let me show you the wait no alright the turret right here if I just click on that uh, there's this little button in world space that just pops up uh, pops up pops up yeah that's the word and it just promises you to upgrade uh, with a certain cost so if I just that definitely definitely wasn't 80 the cost wasn't de definitely 80 I think it was 100 because I went from 480 to 380 mats yeah and uh, yeah, it, it's basically there for every building for now. So if I just upgrade it for 100, that definitely wa definitely was a 100 and 150. I don't know why I can't upgrade it. I think that's because I didn't update the mortar script or something. I don't know. But uh, yeah, uh, let me show you the yeah yeah the third script for now. It has no use. I mean, it's used on the turret. I, I, I created it much before than that. And this is just some handling right here. And uh, yeah, so I also added a main menu for now. Uh, let me just show it to you and play. A main menu and the settings menu. So as you can see right here, it says Tower Defense, which is basically supposed to be the game title. And let me just check if I'm recording. Uh, yeah, I'm recording. So it just basically says tower defense for now. Let me say Maximize on play yet so that it looks a lot better And as you can see it just says tower defense for now, and this is supposed to be the game title So you can recommend me some game titles on in the comments and uh, Yeah, I also have the defense handbook which which just um list down the defenses and just give some description on them so we have the turret right here and the mortar uh, who's 
the scale looks really really bad for some reason and as you can see I'm te using text mesh pro over here as well so even if I scale in like that it still remains crisp for at least that much of uh, scaling so yeah so we have the turret and the mortar here I'm going to I'm gonna try to add some more weapons in the next devlog I mean more defenses in the de next devlog and yeah so these buttons for now are looking quite satisfying you know you can play you have a settings menu so let me just show you the settings menu uh, you have this resolution uh, selector and you have the graphics selector and a full screen toggle so of course they won't work for now but the graphics works so as you can see as I, as I uh, switched to low the shadows just went away because in edit and project settings and in my low settings which I am set to now I don't have any shadows so, so disable shadows and yeah the, the resolution of course won't work for now but uh, I promise you that it works in a test build that I did of this application itself so let me just go back and uh, play it loads up pretty quick and uh, my main concern for now is that my main concern for now is that uh, these uh, w sometimes whenever I spawn in these uh, you know this mortar right here and this turret right here it just lags a lot I don't know why that happened I mean my models are pretty well optimized I mean you can just look at them and say that they are optimized they are literally cubes on top of each other and uh, yeah they are pretty well optimized and as you can see right there the explosion effect of the mortar bullet is not that optimized as well I can say I, I mean I use it from a free package I found on the unity asset store it was made by unity technologies themselves so I, I cannot say that it was not optimized or anything I don't know but uh, yeah so another thing you, you might have noticed is that there's a show turret right here that just spins around randomly and uh, if I, I don't know if I if you're interested in the script but uh, I think it was rotator yeah that it was rotator so uh, th this is just a simple script that just says rotate around the y-axis on a random value uh, over a period of time so I think the time interval is uh, random as well I think no okay anyways so yeah I think that was it for this devlog uh, those are the main features that I added in this devlog and uh, let me play the game for one last time I guess and uh, again if you have an explanation for why these enemies are just um, following that orbit path around and not actually just going straight to the nearest building that they found um, if anyone has an explanation for that please leave it down in the comments I'll be very very thankful and again here is the enemy script that I uh, made and uh, take a look for yourself so I'll just scroll very slowly through this and the concept that I'm using right here is that first of all it just uh, faces towards whatever building uh, is the nearest so vector tree direction nearest building dot position so that just basically makes it face uh, the building it, it just makes it face the building like this like it rotates around this axis on wait what's happening oh I'm not I'm trying to rotate the collider itself that's not going to work so the concept here is that it just rotates on this axis based on wherever the nearest building is so it just points the blue arrow directly towards the nearest building and it moves forward uh, based on the blue arrow so as, as you as many unity programmers and uh, people know uh, this is the forward axis uh, of unity right and 
I've just basically made it so that the forward axis points towards uh, whatever is the nearest building and once we have actually faced towards the uh, towards that uh, building we actually go ahead and move towards the building transform the translate transform the forward into move speed and uh, yeah that that's it for this video I guess uh, as I said let me play it for one last time before exiting I, I'm going to make a pause menu next and some I, I'll try to fix this uh, AI error I guess it's not really AI it's just hard coded stuff yeah it's AI but it's not AI at the same time and I don't know why it's lagging for now I think Unity is eating up my memory or something but uh, yeah that's it for this video thanks for watching uh, leave suggestions down below on what I can rename the game to what features I can add what more defenses I can add and all that and uh, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to the channel if you're interested in more videos like this and also like this video if you liked it and yeah that's it for this one and I'll see you in the next one goodbye